Hey there folks, it's Antar and I've got a new OU battle today against Hash Apples of Smogon. Found him through the Wi-Fi, uh, Smogon Wi-Fi Battle Finder. I lead off with my Rotom, considering uh, who he had on his team as possible leads. I just wanted to Volt Switch out, scout out the lead. Um, Volt Switch is going to do a fair amount, considering it is, uh, it is, uh, specs. He's, I'm going to switch out into Cosmic F as he goes for the rocks. Going to be able to switch, uh, blow away the rocks with Rapid Spin or not considering he's got Gengar and I want for the revenge. So yeah, either way, same death uh, attack is blocked. I send out Jirachi because I'm thinking that this guy might not have anything to do with my Rachi. Uh, he is running some kind of subset, sub leftover set. Uh, he's gonna go for the focus blast here, and I'm like, focus blast? Is that really the best you can do? I just go for the Psy Shock. I could start going for Calm Minds, but I figure, you know, let's get rid of that sub just in case he gets a crit or something, because I've had awful luck recently with my Jirachi and freaking crits. So anyway, I was going to come Heatran, and I go for the Wish here, predicting him to go for the Heatran, and I'm thinking, you know, not going to want to stay in whoever he sends in because he's sending him in to take out Jirachi. I'm going to switch into Cosmic F, who should be a great Wish recipient, except for the fact that he goes for Will-O-Wisp, and so I'm not going to, you know, rather than recovering HP, I'm going to um, recover practically no HP. So yeah, um, I go for the Rapid Spin, he blocks it, and this is not good. I'm predicting him now to go into Gengar, so as he switches into Gengar, I switch out into my Rotom, and so I'm just going to go here for the Dark Pulse. Um, yeah, I really need to get those rocks off the field at some point, but I can't do it until Gengar is dead. So he goes for the sub as I go for the Dark Pulse, and this is excellent. Um, people always laugh whenever I use Dark Pulse in a battle on my Tachikoma, but it's great because it's reliable, it's a reliable move, does a lot of damage, and, um, in this case it was super effective, and I can keep using it without worrying about stats being lowered. So anyway, hit my Lotic, doesn't really do very much, this Milotic is going to be a thorn in my side, but I think... You know, probably he can't really do anything against Jirachi. He wishes already, and I'm like, why would you wish so early? That seems awfully strange. But anyway, gonna go for the Calm Mind here. So that's one Calm Mind. Um, and I'm thinking, you know, I can just set up on this thing while it's asleep. Oh, it carries the Sleep Talk, I figured. That's okay, I don't have anything to worry about, right? No, he has the Dragon Tail, and it's gonna wipe me out, phase me out. And I'm like, that's lame! That is so lame! And so now I'm gonna want to Volt Switch out, because I don't know what his uh, last move is. It could be a water type move. I'd actually be really surprised if it weren't a water type move. And, you know, one in three shot of, you know, hitting plus that there's not really much I can do to this Milotic. I send out Jufro. He goes for the, um, sleep talking selects rest, and so that's good. Um, and I figured, go for the Giga Drain. Maybe I can KO at that range? No, I can't. This Milotic is a bulky bastard. Here he goes for the rest, and this is kind of starting to piss me off. But then I think to myself, wait a minute, I've got taunts in this guy. I wonder, is Sleep Talk considering a, considered an attacking move? It turns out it's not, and that is excellent. And so he goes ahead and withdraws my Lotic, goes into Ferrothorn. I go for the Giga Drain. I'm not going to do anything. Come on, it's Ferrothorn. Um, but that's really okay. I'm going to go ahead and switch out here. Go into Tachikoma, and I really don't think he's going to be able to do much to me. He goes for the Leech Seed, and that is really not good. Um, but I'm thinking, okay, I just needed to hit once, and I can take out that Ferrothorn, and I'll be happy. Freaky has protect, and I go for the trick, and that's awful, and I'm down to 2 HP, and here I'm just forced to go for the trick, so at least I'm going to cripple this Ferrothorn. I figured I couldn't switch out, switch back in, and so this way at least I've crippled his freaking Ferrothorn. Um, so down goes my Rotom, I go then send out to Cosmic F, um, he's gonna go ahead and protect this turn, um, gonna go for the Rapid Spin, wait a minute, what did I do there? Um, so yeah, send out Cosmic F, um, Protect, Rapid Spin again, I finally blow away those rocks, which is great, although I take a lot of damage from those Iron Barbs. And so now Cosmic F is basically useless, I mean, I really could should keep it around um, for later in the battle in case he sets up rocks again, but I don't think I'm going to do that, especially he sends out his Alakazam now, Revenge isn't going to do jack, considering I am burned and he does resist it. Um, here he goes for Psychic, I really should have gone for Bullet Punch, I don't know why I didn't. Um, but I managed to take him out. Oh, I think I was going for Pursuit just in case he decided to switch. Now I get a free switch into Puff, my Magic Dragonite, go for the Extreme Speed, expecting it to KO at that range. He survives with a sliver of HP! I'm pretty sure that was min damage because I'm pretty sure I would have done the Calyx. Anyway, I got so lucky here that he decided to switch out because now I get off my Dragon Dance and I'm going to go for a second Dragon Dance because I'm like, Ferrothorn, what you going to do to me? You're not going to do jack to me. He goes for the Leech Seed and I'm like, oh, okay, well still, you know, my, my Sash is, not my Sash, my Multiscale is broken anyway, it doesn't really matter. He's going to send out my Lotic here, predicting the Fire Punch, and yeah, not going to do jack, especially considering he has uh, Marble Scale 
and that is going to have the damage done physically, so I'm going to switch out Puff here, send out my Jufro, and I am going to go ahead and just hope that Sleep Taunt doesn't select anything good. It doesn't, and so he's predicting the Taunt here, going to send in the Heatran. Um, I'm pretty sure I go for the Stun Spore instead, predicting the switch. Uh, Stun Spore misses! Why? Why? Why does Stun Spore always miss for me? Why? Lava Plume gets me down to 1 HP, but that's okay, I'm faster than him. He gets the burn, and I can't get off my Endeavor strategy because the freaking burn takes me out, and I'm just like, ah, why all this hacks? Get a free switch into HCHB, which is a new build, although if you watch my Pokebox 5 battles, this uh, guy's already been up there. Um, HCHB gets off a Shell Smash against my Lotic, and, you know, and I'm just going to try and go for the Focus Blast. Focus Blast misses, and that's quite annoying. I go for another Focus Blast next turn, it hits. And I'm like, how much damage is this going to do? Less than half. I'm so I'm like, well, that's just great. He's not going for the sleep talk for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. I think he thinks he can PP stall me. Anyway, go for another focus blast. Um, and, you know, it's not, you know, he's going to wake up. He's going to go for the rest again. And so I'm like, okay, works for me. Um, uh, that just means that I'm going to go ahead and go for the Shell Smash. So I think he was PP stalling me, which is why he wasn't going for the Sleep Talks, because Sleep Talks have a limited number of PP, and he saw that the only thing I was doing was Focus Blasting, so he knew that I could stall me out. I go for the third Shell Smash. I am now at plus freaking six. If he went for the Sleep Talk and got the Dragon Tail, I would be screwed. Here he goes for the Sleep Talk, I'm like, oh god, he gets the rest. Oh, thank you, god! Thank you so much! Gonna go for the Focus Blast. And I'm like, will this kill? Will this kill? No, it doesn't kill, but I knew it wouldn't kill. He wakes up, goes for the Sleep Talk. He miscounted the Sleep Talk turns, and that is going to cost him dearly. He switches out my Lotic, goes into Gengar, um, thinking that I was going to go for the Focus Blast. But why would I do that? At that range of health, Surf is fine, especially at plus six. So Gengar is down. Out's going to come Ferrothorn. I'm like, well, he's going to go for the Protect, um, but he's locked into Protect. So the question is, can I kill here? Um, he avoids my Focus Blast, so I'm like, ah! So here, I'm going to go for Surf just to not waste the precious PP I have with Focus Blast because I've got such a limited number. Here I go for the Focus Blast against my loading. It misses. I am doing really bad with the hacks, and I am wasting precious PP, but here I'm going to take out his Milotic with a Surf, and that is a dead Milotic, and I am doing I'm feeling pretty good right now. Out's going to come Ferrothorn. Focus Blast. It hits. He didn't... I think he was thinking that he... Uh, that... I would predict him to go for uh, Protect, and indeed I did consider it, but I guess he went for the Power Whip. I take him out, Out's going to come Haxorus. Now, ordinarily, I, you know, this might be an issue, but I am at plus freaking six. I don't care if you resist that. That is a one-hit KO. Plus six HCHB. No question. Out's going to come Alakazam. Whatever. I mean, come on here. You know, what, what are you going to do to me? Nothing. That is what. Out's going to come Heatran. I believe this is his last Pokemon. He's going to go for the Protect and just, what, you're going to try to PP stall me out of Surf's? Good luck there. Uh, he goes, he gets the second Protect in a row, and I'm like, okay, you're just prolonging the inevitable. Surf, dead, Heatran, you are down, and HCHB saved my freaking ass. I am loving this build. I am so happy. He's going to stay on this team, and that's excellent. So comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge!